Welcome to Children's Bible Study on Demand. <laughs> Welcome back to Bible Study, young people. So if you missed yesterday, that is okay because hopefully this is all going to be the same for you. The only thing you will not have is the actual interaction, but we still want to share the message. So as you can see on my screen, we are celebrating Black History Month, as well as the theme of family love, but in actuality, our theme for this month is I am my ancestors' dream, family love. So this is kind of what we're going to be discussing this month, along with our Black history, because you are your ancestors' dream, and it's such a blessing to be the dream that your ancestors dream. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. But what I want to do is introduce to you what that means. So we're going to be going over some concepts of family and love brought to us by a book and an author, a black author. And so we're going to go through family for food. What does that mean? Family and the anthem, family and the march and movement. Family and imagine, family and love, family and young, family as in love again, because we're going to spell the word love, and then family and organiz organizations and organizing, family and voting, family and exploring. So I can't wait to introduce to you this wonderful book that we are going to read and journey through today. I think this is going to be a great opportunity to see what it has to offer us and I think you're going to enjoy it. Now obviously we won't go through everything but I did spell out the word family love. So let's go straight into that. What does the word say about family? If you check out the screen, what does the word say about family? So you don't have to get your Bible because I have the scripture right here online for you. The Bible says in Exodus 20 and 20, honor your father and your mother so that you may live a long life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Then we have in the New Testament, children, teens, obey your parents in everything for this pleases the Lord. So you've got Exodus 20 and 12 as well as Colossians 3 and 20. So as we talk about this and family love, I want you also to remember, you guys were all in service. Do y'all remember this? Remember the fruits of the spirit in Galatians 5 and 22 for the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Did you practice any of these fruits of the spirit today? I believe personally today I have practiced love. I've had some joy and I've been at peace. I haven't had to use my patience just yet. I have been very kind and good. And I believe I am being faithful and I hope to have to show gentleness today, but I haven't had to show that. And I think I always do pretty well with self-control. So think about it today for yourself. What of these fruits of the spirits have you shown? All right, so now that we've done that, I want you guys to look at the book that we are going to be looking into today. So the book we're going to be looking in today to start Bible study off is The ABCs of Black History by Rio Cortez and is illustrated by Lauren Simmer. This is going to be a great book because that is where I got the words for family love. You're going to see each one of those words again, okay? So these are also going to be some of the books we're going to look at because I think this will be really fun for us to take a look at Opal Lee and The Undefeated. Now, guess what? Maybe you guys will get an opportunity to have these books in your library. All you got to do is show up for Bible study. And if you're interested, you never know, you could be gifted a new Black history book. And if we have the opportunity... I'd also like to take us on the journey of faith with Elijah Cummings. So 
our Black History Month this month in Bible study for our three weeks on and one week off, we are going to be studying Black authors. And I think this is going to be fun for you because guess what? You too could become an author. You have a story to share. Okay, so let me go ahead and change our screen over and we are going to look at the ABCs of Black History. So I have to switch my screen so that you can see this book. Got a new device here. Remember, Vital got a new device. Can you guys see that? How about that? All right, so we're going to read this book. So here you go. This is in real time. I don't have to hold it up and show it to you anymore because we physically have this book available for you to look at while I read it. All right, so here we go. Now, you'll have to bear with me because I will have to move the pages over. But check this out. It says, history is not the past. It is the present. We carry our history with us. We are our history by James Baldwin. That's a pretty good quote to remember. So let me file over to F for family because we are spelling the word family love for our theme here. So we are starting off with tonight. F is for food. Grown and farmed with our hands worked and tilled and pulled from the land. Look at these amazing pictures too. The illustrator did an excellent job of this. For fried fish, ham hocks, warm buttered bread, milk buttered butter milk bread, or maybe the sharp taste of mustards instead. F is for folklore by the light of the moon. For family, for freedom, for jumping the broom. So, can you think of maybe something else that you could contribute to Black history and the F? Food, farm, fried fish, folklores, family, freedom. What else can you add to that? All right, let's go over to A. What does A say? Let us march on till victory is won. A is for anthem, a banner of song that wraps us in hope. Let us know we belong. We lift up our voices, lift them and sing from stages and street corners. Let freedom ring. I love that. Look at this. This is amazing illustration here. Let us march on till victory is won. Each of us has a song and we all can march on till victory is won. All right, so what is next? F is for food, A is for anthem, M is for, I know that's I, M. M is for march, for lifting our feet. Taking the moment, the cause to the street. Look at all of these signs here. Separate is not equal. Equality for all. We march with Salem. Selma, I'm sorry. Black lives matter. Stop injustice. I am a man. Black is beautiful. I have a dream too. I am Trayvon. So now these are some of the past history signs of what we used to have to fight and then what we are fighting and believing now. Then it says over here, Black Lives Matter. Every breath, every dream, every thought, every idea, each impossible scheme, the might, the might of our message is easy to hear. The drumbeat of hope is louder than fear. Stop global warming, hands up, don't shoot, no justice, no peace. We can't breathe. I am not a threat. So what else do you think we could put here as some of our march and movement in this space? What are some other things that you could come up with? What would your sign look come up? What would your sign be? What do you feel like you need to let people know about you as the things that we are experiencing now? Stop the global warming. Hands up, don't shoot. No justice, no peace. 
Project Protect Kids No Guns. What do you think we need to have? All right, so now we've got family. Let's go to Imagine. Oops, I wasn't supposed to tell you guys. I is for Imagine, Invent, Innovative. Are any of you guys imagining anything amazing? Are any of you guys thinking about inventing something? What about being innovative? That just basically means to be creative. For all of the ways we are so creative. Now, hopefully Reverend Vital can say all of these names. <laughs> Jean Michael Basquiat. Looks like he was a painter. We've got Alvin Ailey, music and fine arts. I've actually seen some of his um, work. Gwendolyn Brooks, looks like a reader or write, writer, probably of books. Madam C.J. Walker, hair products. George Washington Carver, many ways to use the peanut. And then we've got DJ Cool here. So we got a DJ for the end part of that. All right, so imagine, what can you imagine, invent, or innovate? Now we have spelled F-A-M-I-L is the next letter is L. Let's find L, H I J K L. What do you think L is for before I even open it up? L is for love. L is for love. L is always for <laughs> love. So tons of family pictures here, gifts, hairstyle, family, sisters, brothers, family, children, cowboy. So it just shows us what love, many ways of sharing and showing love. Y'all see those cool pictures? Very nice illustrations here. Very nice. All right, we've got F-A-M-I-L, what's next? F-A-M-I-L-Y. All right, so what do we think the Y is in family? Y is for young, gifted, and black, like Lady Lorraine, who never looked back. She wrote of big dreams in rooms so small, it's hard to believe they were dreamed in at all. Wow. Then it says Lorraine and her work. Moved Nina Simone so much that Nina made work of her own. Young, gifted, and black. A banner of song that wraps us in hope. Let us know we belong. Wow. That is amazing. And look at this art, you guys. This book is bigger than the bandwidth of our video, but... It's still amazing artwork. Look at that. All right, so we have spelled family. So what were our letters so far? We had F for food. We had A for anthem. We had M for march movement. We had I for imagine. We had L for love. And we've got Y for young, right? All right, so let's spell the word love and see what we've got. All right, you are so right. L is for love. <laughs> love. L is for love. L is always for love. That's right. So let's see L-O. Ooh, this is nice. O is for organize, for getting together to sit in and boycott, to make our lives better. Thank you, Fred Hampton. Thank you, Diane Nash, for not being afraid of the possible clash with police and people who shouted and teased. Because of you, we can go where we please. Wow, look at this. The laundromat. We wash white only. Open 24 hours, open, colored, stay out, colored entrance by police order. Whites only in lunch count discrimination. Diner, 1 a.m. to 11 p.m. entrance menu open. So because of Fran, Fred Hammond, Hampton and Diane Nash, we can go where we please. This is amazing artwork. So now we've got L-O-V is our next letter. V is for vote. Do you know what that means? 
the freedom to pick and choose as you please. All right, the freedom to choose who makes the rules, who has the power, who gets the tools. To make their lives better, that's why we fight. The freedom to vote is a true civil right. Guess what, guys? Let me just stop right there. I want to make sure that as we enter into movement and new things, you want to make sure that your parents vote. Like even in our city elections and things that we have going on in our government, we've got to make sure our family members vote because they're not only voting for themselves, they're voting for you. All right, so our last letter in family love is E. E is for explore, to study a place like Matthew Henson, the Arctic, May Jamerson space. Look at that. Explore. What are you guys exploring right now? Let me know. What are you exploring right now? E is for education, for expanding the mind, like Lu Ruby Bridges, Linda Brown, the Little Rock Nine, the first black children in all white schools, they opened the doors and challenged the rules. So we've got math here, we've got reading and knowledge, and I love these pictures. This art is just amazing to me. I love this art. All right, so guess what? That is pretty much Bible study today and one lucky person that views this video as well as whoever shows up to bible study all you have to do if you did not make it to bible study is have your parents text me your name bible study was watched now what you'll have to do is you will have to give me a different letter or word um, from what we study, something that I asked you, answer one of the questions that I asked in Bible study, text me, and on Friday or sat probably Saturday, I will do a drawing and someone is going to get my other book. I bought two of these books and I would love to gift it to somebody. So the ones that are in Bible study, their names will be in the drawing as well. And then anyone else by Friday, um, you can have your parents text me with your answer to one of my questions and I will put those names into a drawing and I will draw and we will let, I'll let you know who won. So how about that? I think that's a pretty awesome opportunity if I'd say so myself, right? You know, a free book. This book was not um, cheap. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed Bible study. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for our first Bible study on demand. It's something new. It's something we've got to get used to. But I thank you for your darling son, Jesus, who died on the cross for us. I thank you for this opportunity to be able to explore black authors, Father God. We thank you that we have the opportunity to imagine and to innovate, to dream, to um create we can do these same things like we see people creating and doing but now we have the opportunity to write the new script so god we bless your name and i ask that you give these young people strength in the rest of their evening in jesus name amen all right so that's it that's bible study in a nutshell um for you about it should be about 20 minutes on video just like the time we will be together online it'll be 30 minutes online but about a 20 minute condensed bible study so bible study this month will include a black african-american author book so this was really amazing so if you want to know for yourself check it out you can go get the book as well. All right, so have a good night.